Hello everyone, this is Gemini Jets 1975 coming at you with a different sort of video tonight. Um, I'm going to do a, a video of my toy airplane collection from when I was a kid. We're talking about uh, 1980s and 1990s. A lot of these airplanes are 30 years old or a little bit older. Um, these plastic bags in, in front of you that you see, this is what I kept them in for probably 25 or so, maybe even more years than that. So that's why they're in really good shape. I've got some, like this Continental 707 that's in really bad shape because I didn't keep it in plastic bags until it was too late. There's this one. This uh, Lufthansa 727, and I thought there was one more. Well, this Northwest Orient DC-10, it's not the most horrible, but um, I didn't keep it in the bag until later. Anyway, let's get started. All right. This was my favorite brand. This was uh, actually Super Dynaflights. The the ones I showed you a minute ago, those were Dynaflights. So Super Dynaflights were just a little bit bigger versions. Um, this one obviously I kept in the bag the whole time. Uh, Pan Am 747 SP. Uh, the TWA 747 SP. They really didn't have these very long. Um, they wanted uh, they were, they purchased them in order to fly to Riyadh, and they didn't get nonstop authority until much later, so they got rid of them. Uh, the Delta 727, I took very good care of this airplane. Hard to believe this airplane's 30 years old. And... Oh, here's one of my old, really old. This is a, I don't remember what airline, but it's a VC-10. Um, okay. Some of the other Dynaflights, this Pan Am L-1011. It's not the best looking plane in the world. This one was also one of my, the uh, American DC-10. Ah, and here is the Western Airlines 727. I really like that one. And Braniff International 727. One of my favorite planes. Okay, ah. Ever want to see FedEx in the old colors? I like this plane. Okay, these aren't these are Matchbox. I think these are from the 90s. Uh, I do have a Gemini Jets 1400 in this almost exact airplane. Actually, I think it is this exact airplane. Let's see, United or yeah, United DC-10 in the um, oh, what are they? The battleship gray colors. The 747 SPs that they got from the Pan Am purchase. Ah, oh, here we go. United 767 in uh, original tulip colors. I've got, oops, let's see, 747, 400, a uh, Lufthansa 707, I remember I got this plane at Albertsons, 
And then Air France Concorde. I have another, I used to have another smaller Concorde. Thai DC-10. I used to see this airplane at DFW all the time. Way back when they flew to DFW. JAL, old, old colors. Well, not that old. DC-10. Newer colors. 747. 400. Actually, this might be a 300. 400 had little wing winglets. 300 did not. Continental DC-10. Actually, this one right here. This is a Continental MD-80. People Express. I think... Uh, I don't remember. The airline may have still been flying when I got this. I like this model. Toy, rather. Okay. Let's see... I think that's about it for the commercial. Oh, there's one more. A uh, Lufthansa, I think this is a 767. And as promised, uh, you guys asked for the military aircraft, so let me uh, start with the military. Now these I didn't take out of the plastic bags, I probably should have, but... Uh, this Blue Angel, I took the uh, missiles and drop tanks off because I wanted it to look like they did in the air show. Because I like when I was a kid I liked to play with these and pretend I was flying in an air show. So and the plane that they flew before the F eighteen because the F eighteens uh took over they took over flying in eighty six or eighty seven was the A four Skyhawk. I got to see both of them. They're both really cool. This was a Vietnam airplane. A4. And here's an F-104 Starfighter. I don't... Some of these planes I've had so long... Well, I, I don't remember where I got them or what gear or what brand they are. This is an F-14... Tomcat camouflage. I saw this thing fly too, and one thing's for sure, it sure was loud. And let's see, this should be. This is the MiG 29. It's a little. Soviet star. Sorry if it's hard to see these in these bags, guys. P-38 Lightning. Twin Lightning. Twin twin Mustang, rather. Looks like two Mustangs. Very cool airplane. This plane's probably a good 30 years old. No, it's at least, let's see. Uh, between 25 and 30 years. Ah, uh, here we go. F4 Phantom in Thunderbird colors. Sort of. Thunderbird number one and the F sixteen Thunderbird's next aircraft. No, no, I'm sorry. Thunderbird's current aircraft. I think this is the uh these are the colors that the F sixteen flew in when they first uh went into service. I've seen this thing perform too, it's pretty cool. In fact, it was the last air show I went to. 
And this one is a Vigan, it's a Swedish fighter. Very cool. And let's see. This is the Anolt. No, this is Fifi. This isn't the Anolt Day. Same airplane, though. And this is the Tornado British. Interesting airplane. And let's see, this is a Mirage. And let's see, this here is the GB. This was uh, an X-29. I think it actually flew. Very weird plane. I've had this plane a very long time. And then we've got, let's see, this is the uh, B-17 Flying Fortress. This thing's running about almost 20 minutes. The F-20 Tiger Shark. Thunder Shark. Yeah, Tiger Shark. Ah, KC-10 Tanker. I've seen one of these at an air show, one with the C5. I do have a Gemini Jet C5. Comment uh, in the section below if you want me to do a uh, model review of the C5. Uh, here we go. This is Air Force One. Nineteen eighties line of flight vintage Air Force One. Okay. Uh, the B one bomber, one of my personal favorite airplanes. B-1 bomber. Wings are still in really good shape. And let's see, this is an F-5. And a Harrier. Most of the military planes are a lot smaller. See a Japanese Zero. Sun Air Racing. That's funny. Let's see. This is a Messerschmitt. I don't remember what airplane this was. Sorry if the swastika offend you. Cover it up. The German Cross. Ah. The SR-71, one of the fastest regular uh, aircraft ever built. America's superiority at its best. Awesome plane. It's a shame they're not in service anymore. So expensive to operate though. DC-3 in military service, I don't remember what the name of it was. All the airlines are pretty much forced to put their aircraft into military service for World War II, only with limited uh, options available for commercial, and then after the war, everyone got their planes and more back. This is an F-111. They're no longer in service. Haven't been for a long time. 
Another F4 Phantom camouflage without the cockpit canopy, of course. The V2 Bomber. I also have a stealth fighter in here somewhere if I can find it. Let's see, here's another German. I think this is a Stuka. Stuka dive bomber. They didn't put the swastika on this one. And the good old space shuttle. Sad to shame that thing's out of service. And then we've got the F-22. And there's the E-2 Hawkeye. Let's see, this is the uh, F... Uh, let's see... F... Uh, I don't remember. Let me tuck here. I usually say on the bottom. Comment in the section in the bottom if you remember what that is. Okay, here is the stealth fighter. And this plane right here, when it was brand new, the C5, was painted white. I don't remember how I got a hold of this, but it was not mine originally. And F-15, I've seen this airplane perform. Awesome airplane. F-15 Strike Eagle. And let's see, I've seen this thing on the ground some more times than I can count. The uh, A-10 Warho Warthog. This plane's in awesome condition, too. And let's see here. This is a MiG-21, I believe. Oh. And an old-era Western Airlines DFW baggage tag. Oh, uh, here's an F-15 in camouflage colors. Okay. Alright guys, I, I know I have a couple more airplanes here. I'm really sorry, this video is almost 20 minutes long and I didn't even go through all of my airplanes. Ah, oh, here we go. This right here, this is Charles Lindbergh's Ryan monoplane that he flew across, non-stop across the Atlantic. Very cool airplane. Okay. Alright, guys. Um, there was something I was going to say that I wanted y'all to comment on. When I remember what it is, I'll probably put it in the description. But, uh, anyway, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this was interesting going through my old airplane collection from when I was a kid. But, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know if there's any other model reviews that you know of that you want me to do. Um, oh, you know what? There is something I was going to show you. Uh, I used to also collect 1 to 600 scale models. And, uh, this right here is a 1 to 600. This is more the size of a 737 and one to 400 but this was a, from an airline called Schaubach. Uh, I've some of their models that I have because I sold most of these to to get money to buy the airplanes that I collect now um, these things are uh, some of them are so old they were on the bottom they were stamped made in Either, either said made in West Germany or made in the Federal Republic of Germany. So, uh, anyway, 
again, uh, getting on 20 minutes here. Like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys in the next video.